Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. It is time for a special treat. I have got, <clears throat> excuse me, I have got the newest hush tube that everybody has been so excited about. I've got the Athena palette by Bad Habit. This is just the box it comes in. But here is the real beauty. Now before I show you this, be sure that if you are already subscribed to my channel, you go ahead and hit that red button and hit that bell because I would love to share more content with y'all. So uh, here we go. Now I do not have the Huda Beauty um, Rose Gold Palette. Like I've said, $65 for one makeup palette is way out of my budget. This $10 palette does me a lot more favors. So I can't compare it, but I can show it to you. So the outside of the palette is just like the box. Open her up and you get a mirror. And all of these gorgeous shades. You get some mattes, some shimmers, and this right here, from what I gather, is a very chunky glitter. Um, I'm not gonna do full swatches for y'all because this is a lot of swatches, but this is the palette, and you're about to get to see how a couple of the mattes and one of the shimmers performs. I will, however, swatch this chunky glitter, and it's called Darling. It just breaks my heart to even dip into it. Like, look, I dipped, and you can see it. I'm just going to take it and put a little swatchy on my hand. Now, this is straight, chunky glitter. If my camera will focus. This is going to be something that you'll probably need a glitter glue with because this is not just a regular shadow. Um, and just so I can be fair, I'll show you a couple more shades I've been excited about so you can see the difference in this chunky glitter, the regular shimmers, and the mattes. So here is our chunky glitter right here. A regular shimmer is right there. It's got a really nice duochrome effect. And then a matte, which is super pigmented because who doesn't like pigment? So uh, I just wanted to give y'all a quick little intro. I know I look so rough, y'all. It is like 10 o'clock at night and it is way past my bedtime. But I had to get this video ready for you guys because I have to upload for you tomorrow morning. So I went ahead and recorded this. Um, I wanted to get this palette out there, show it to y'all. I'm super excited about it and I know a lot of the girls and girls and guys and my makeup groups are excited as well. So I just wanted to be sure y'all got to see this beauty because she is beautiful. And uh, we're gonna be in voiceover mode today just to save y'all a little bit of time. And I will be showing you how to create this halo eye that I did. I wanted to go with the purples because it's a really pretty palette with a lot of pretty purples. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. Okay guys, so the first color we're going to go into is that light tan, and we're just going to put this all over the lid. This just sets my MAC paint pot like always. I love to have that light tan color just to kind of get that set. And then, because I'm basic, we're going to go into a Justice. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous purple. It is so pretty. And I was so excited to use this color because I don't do super purple eyes that often. But that's what I wanted to go for. Um, I started out with my Morphe blending brush and I just put it in the crease. Then I decided to put it in the outer corner just to do a smoky eye. Then I decided to be extra and put it in the inner corner so that I could do a halo eye. Um, with this, I did have to pack it on a little bit, but it was pretty pigmented. I uh, just had to do a little bit of building, which, you know, I always prefer that. Um, there was a little bit of kickback from these matte shades. Not anything crazy, just a little bit. You know, you're going to have to wipe off your palette or dust it off or whatever when you're done. But it's not terrible. Um, but yeah, and on this eye, um, my eye started watering. I'm having some issues so if the outer corner on this eye that I'm doing now <laughs> looks a little funky, that's what's going on because my eye hates me and it's been watering all day. 
So then I went into, I think that was clever. <laughs> it's a brown color and I put it kind of in the outer corner in the crease. I just wanted to deepen it up. The purple wasn't quite as dark as I expected it to be, uh, which I don't know why I expected it to be because it's the exact same color it looks like, but I thought it'd be darker. So I just went in with this brown to deepen it up a little bit. And I had to even it up a little bit because like I said on that other eye, my eyes started water and moved the color. Then I went into Epic and ooh, you guys, this shade, look at it. Just, just look at it. It's so pretty. That glitter is amazing. Um, I just put it on with my finger. You can see that. And just tapped it into the middle of my lid just to get that halo effect going in the middle. And this color is so stinking pretty. Like, it's almost, <laughs> it is not hollow but it has got a shift to it and it's like a light purple pink gorgeous just beautiful color but I put it on the inner corner and a little bit on the brow bone just to tie it all together and uh yeah touched up the lids a little got off camera did everything else um if you can see it here I put on a purple highlight to tie things together a little more uh these are my dumb model faces appreciate them but uh, yeah, that is the look I made with Athena. This palette is gorgeous, and for $10, you really just can't go wrong. I'll see you guys later. Bye.